Hey everyone, so the first thing I do is I get my head of cabbage and I begin to cut my cabbage up. Okay, I'm going to cut it down the middle like so, okay? Get you a big knife. Um, I started out with that small knife. I wasn't thinking, you guys. So, um, excuse me, I had to stop it and go and get me the knife that I really needed, okay? So here I have my chef knife. If you have a serrated knife, use your serrated knife. And I'm going to split that cabbage straight down the middle. Okay, you guys? Like so. Now, I'm not going to worry about that core yet. I'm just going to worry about getting the cabbage leaves that I'm going to use off first. Okay, you see that leaf? It has spots on it. Toss that leaf to the side in the trash, okay? Any leaves that are tough or got spots on them, just go ahead and put them in the trash. So I start to cut my cabbage in lengthwise this way first, okay? And then I'm going to turn around and I'm going to take those cabbages and I'm going to cube it like so, as you see, I am doing here, okay? Cabbages, they do cook down, so you don't have to worry about saying, oh, well, isn't that kind of big? Once you cook your cabbages, they will cook down, okay? So that is the size that I will be having my cabbage in okay so um if you guys want your cabbages smaller just cut them smaller that's the only difference in um what i'm doing and what you can do at home okay so now i'm gonna cut the other side of the cabbage as well if you're not feeding that many people off of this head of cabbage um and you just want it for one day and you're only gonna feed about three people don't cook the whole head of cabbage okay unless you're gonna eat it for more than one day, okay? So, now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cut, um, you see that piece right there, it's gonna cook hard. I don't want it, so I'm tossing to the side, but if you wanna cook it, by all means, save that leaf and cook it, okay? So, I'm gonna continue to cut this cabbage like so, as you see, I am doing here. And I'm going to continue to cut the whole head of cabbage in the same manner. But I promise you, I am going to toss out that center piece that is extremely hard. You guys, please do not cut that and eat it, okay? That core is very, very hard, so you need to take it and toss it on to the side. Do not eat that, okay? You'll see it. Um, it's on the end, okay? So now we're finished with cutting up our cabbage you must wash your cabbage okay the same way you would with greens you have to wash wash them so here i have a bowl that has holes in the bottom where the water can drain off with that dirt and that's what i'm um, doing and this is um regular cold water you're not going to use anything hot because it's going to cook your cabbage okay and that's what we're not trying to do now after you have cooked your cabbage I mean, clean your cabbage. We are going to um, cut up a few slices of bacon. Here I have cut up five slices of bacon and I am going to cook this bacon. So you throw it in the pan and you get ready to start to render the bacon down. I'm cooking it on medium low heat because I don't want it to cook too fast and I do not want it to burn. To my bacon, I do add seasoning. I add black pepper. Do not add any salt to your bacon because bacon already consists of salt. If you have low sodium salt, you still do not add salt to your bacon, okay? Now I'm going to toss in some diced onions that I chopped, okay? And this is a, a small onion that I'm using. It's very, very small. If you have a large onion, just try to use half of that large onion, okay? and we are going to cook these together okay as the bacon is rendering down so will the onions but remember start your bacon at least three to four minutes before you start to toss your onions in because your bacon is going to cook slower than the onions um so once um we get this bacon and these onions rendered down um we are going to toss in our cabbage but be mindful to make sure that your bacon has at least still two to three minutes left before you toss in your cabbage because you don't want your cabbage to burn. Now, 
If you don't have bacon, you can use two tablespoons of vegetable oil because the only thing that this bacon is doing is rendering down. We're gonna use the grease off of the bacon to saute our cabbage in, okay? So just continue to watch the video and cook along with me if you have to because this is an instructional video on how to cook cabbage. Some may call this steamed cabbage, some may call it sauteed cabbage. I just call this a basic, easy, simple cabbage recipe that anyone can do. So now after stirring your bacon and it's cooking all down for these few minutes, it's going to look like this, okay? Once your bacon looks like this, we are going to start to put in place. You're gonna put in about a half a stick of butter, okay? Put in your half a stick of butter or margarine, and you're gonna allow that to melt down just a little bit, okay? Like I, you see I'm doing here, I'm stirring it so that it can start to cook on down. Now we're not trying to brown this um, butter, okay? We're just gonna allow it to melt, okay? And now we are going to go ahead and get ready to throw our cabbage in. We are not using any water to make this cabbage. And the reason why is because cabbage makes its own water. That's right. Leafy green vegetables like cabbage, collard greens, turnip greens, mustard greens, they make their own water. Even sweet potatoes, they make their own water. So therefore, we will not be adding any liquid. Okay, so here I'm adding some garlic powder, some onion powder um, to this. We're gonna add black pepper. Be generous with the black pepper. Black pepper is very, very friendly to the taste of a cabbage, okay? And um, I would say that I put in about two tablespoons of cabbage, okay? And here I'm going in with my Louisiana Zatarain's Creole seasoning. You can use any type of Creole seasoning that you have even if it's Tony Saturay's Creole seasoning, okay? Now, these are the only seasonings that I will be using uh, for now other than a chicken bouillon, okay? If you have powdered chicken bouillon, use that. If you have a cute um, chicken bouillon like I have, what I'm going to do is that I crush it in a plastic bag. Um, I just take something and I squash it and um, it crushes. Okay, so I'm stirring this together like so, you guys. Before I add the rest of the cabbage in, I'm trying to mix everything in so that it gets all the oil um, and some of the bacon and the onions mixed in with the cabbage, okay? I'll do this for about a minute or two, and then I'll go ahead and I will get ready to toss in the second half of the cabbages, okay? And here it is, I have the second half of the cabbages. And remember, we just washed these cabbages off. So therefore, they still have some of the liquid, uh, the water from where you rinse them off, okay? Now I pulled those pieces of the cabbage apart because it was stuck together. And you can pull it apart like so, so that it can cook fairly well, evenly with the other cabbages. And I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna season this half as well being careful as to not to over season my cabbages, okay? We're gonna go back in with that onion powder, the garlic powder, the black pepper, and that Louisiana Creole style seasoning by Zatarain's, okay? You can use any type of Creole seasoning that you have. If you don't have Creole seasoning, it's okay. You can use some other type of seasoning that you have that would taste flavorful with cabbage, okay? Um, cabbage is good with just seasoning salt and black pepper. Um, you can use those items, but be mindful if you're going to use a chicken bouillon cube because the chicken bouillon cube has salt in it, and that, that Creole seasoning has salt as well. So, here I'm going in with the crushed um, chicken bouillon, like so. Um, that's just one cube. Um, you guys know that if you're going to use one cube, that means you're going to use about a, a tablespoon of um, chicken seasoning, okay? And you're gonna stir that together, you guys. And you're gonna allow this to cook down, okay? Fairly well. Just stir it and make sure you get all those seasonings from the top to the bottom and make sure that those cabbage leaves get that um, oil from the bottom 
and that butter. You're going to have the oil, the grease, some would say from the bacon. And you're going to have that um, butter flavor. And you want it to get on every leaf. Every leaf. And you want to make sure that those onions and those bacon pieces are mixed up really, really well. When I tell you guys this is the easiest cabbage recipe out there, it is. Okay, so now our cabbages have steamed up because I allowed them to steam up and cook for about, I would say about 10 minutes all together. It takes about 15 minutes all together for this recipe. And voila, look at our cabbages. I cooked it on medium low heat. And you see those that the cabbage made its own juice and that our cabbages are done. Okay, now that juice down there is very, very tasteful, you guys. If you guys want your um, juice to be a little thicker, just take some of the juice out, about a tablespoon, and mix it with some flour. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Leave lots of comments down below and stay tuned to my channel for another video.